In today's video, we are going to the beach here in Manila, but today I will not be on my own. I will be joined by Krishil from the YouTube channel Filipina Life. She's a local, she's currently also here in Manila. Let's meet up with her, let's find out what the beach in Manila is like, try some local food, feel free to join us. Hello, how are Hi. you? Okay, and I am now with Krishil from Hi. Mindanao in southern Philippines. Yes. And she would like to take me to the beach here in Manila. Yes, the Dolomite Beach. Dolomite Beach? Yes. Okay, let's go to the beach. Hello, can you take us? We would like to go to Dolomite Beach. Okay, how much? 100. 100? That's a good price? I think so. You think so? Okay, sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go inside, close the door. Okay, so this, how do you call this? Tuk tuk? Uh, in Manila, you call it tuk tuk, but in my province, we call it pao pao. Pao pao? Yeah, pao pao. Pao pao. Yeah, like B A O. Okay. But here you call it tuk-tuk. Yeah. And the loud jeepney, so that one was driving very fast. Do you have jeepneys in your province? Yeah, we have, yeah? but not as many as here. Alright, so this is actually, I think, my first time taking a tuk-tuk here in Manila. And you actually see them a lot driving around the city, same as the tricycles here. But the tuk-tuk is another way of getting around the city. So would you think uh, many locals take tuk-tuks or is it only for tourists and foreigners? Um, for locals, mostly for locals. For if they wanna try, they can try, but it's mostly yeah. for locals. So a local way of transportation here in Manila. For example, in Bangkok and Thailand, you also have tuk-tuks. They look a little bit different than these ones, but in Bangkok, I would say it's mostly for foreign tourists. Ah. Most locals don't really take a tuk-tuk in Bangkok. And yeah, I actually think that the beach should be just down the road here and then on the right side. I think we have the ocean already behind there. Oh yeah, you can see the road here is... Uh, there's a lot of water here because it was raining a lot earlier today. Wow. It's rainy season now in the Philippines. Um, yes, because it's December. It usually starts around September mm. to December. Yeah, yeah. And then by January, it's going to be a little um, sunny day yeah, yeah. in the past few days. And then by February and then March, it's going to be sunny. Yeah, here's so, okay. We, I remember the bridge here. Here's yeah, fine, yeah. That looks good. Okay. That's pretty close. That's yeah, that was now, I don't know, a three minute ride? Yeah, that's... Do you still think it's a fair price? <laughs> I think it's okay. All right. How do you say 100 in Tagalog? 100 Sangdaan. Sangdaan? Sangdaan. Sangdaan. I'm not sure if you understand my, my local language. Okay. Uh, Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna say about the player though. For the ride, I didn't know that it was very close. And now it doesn't because seem to be a fair ride. Right? Uh, yeah, it was a three minute ride. Let me know in the comments if 100 pesos for a three minute ride is considered a fair amount here or not. Now she's a little bit, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I think it's okay. It was a fun ride, fun little ride. And uh, yeah, so now we have the bridge here. And then on the other side we have the beach. And then yeah, over there we have uh, street food stalls and then the entrance to the beach is somewhere there. Alright, so here we have the beach in Manila, the Dolomite Beach. Uh, yeah, there's water now on the beach, which is usually not the case, I think. This is just because it just rained like uh, half an hour ago, very heavy actually. Okay, so we do have a lot of uh, street food stalls here. We have coconuts here, we have crack crack, we can get drinks here as well. So we definitely should try something here. Are you hungry for a little snack? Um, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Oh, we're having corn here. Sweet cheese corn. Yeah, sweet cheese corn. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yes, delicious. Is it masarap? Masarap. Masarap? Masarap. What do you think? Should we get uh, corn? Maybe a small one? Small one? Small, 25, 30. 25, 30? Yeah. Let's get a big one. 30. 30 pesos. Okay, yes. that sounds good. So we delicious, have, delicious. This is just regular Butter? corn yes. or is it sweet corn? Sweet, sweet corn. corn. Sweet corn. Yeah, oh, corn. All delicious. what is this? Butter. 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 Yes. Are you adding butter? Ah, okay. And then Very healthy food. Healthy food? Yeah. Healthy food. You don't put sugar? Yes. No sugar? Yes. No sugar. No sugar. Oh, what is this one? Uh, cheese. 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 
Yes. But it looks like like a chili powder. Yes. Oh, let's uh, see what it is. Yeah. Oh, this is cheese like powder. Cheese powder with sugar. With sugar. Oh, yeah. Oh, you said healthy. Mm. Healthy. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Germany. 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 Beautiful country. Beautiful country. I think the Philippines is more beautiful. Yeah. Ah, so you stir it all up. Yeah. You mix it all up. Yeah. Okay. Cheese. So cheese, butter, and a little bit of sugar. Yeah. Sugar as well. Okay. You can try first. You want Yakult? Yakult? What's your rating? Is it uh, Masarap? It's Masarap. Oh, where are you from? You say uh, Lami, right? Yeah, in Mindanao. Ah, yeah. yeah. She's from Mindanao and they speak uh, Bisaya there. And Bisaya. Ah, You're yeah, also Bisaya. Cebu. I'm from Cebu. I'm from Mindanao. Oh, okay, okay. Your wife, husband? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, so they have a business here, a little stall selling corn and selling uh, peanuts. 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 Peanut well, and peanut. corn. Well, peanut. It's also good? Yeah. I can try one. Ah, it's easy. Ah, it looks like this. Yes. Oh, it's actually purple. I didn't know that. Good. Oh, very good, yeah. Mm. Fresh <laughs> peanut. I like it. You want to try the peanut? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, it's good. very good, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, this one I've thrown here? Okay. Maybe I'm... Peanut is better than sweet peanut. <laughs> okay, let me try the, the corn as well. Is it hot? It's hot, yes. It's hot. Yeah. Okay. Let's try the corn here on the streets of Manila. Mm. Oh, mustard up. Mustard up. Oh, I, like, I really like it. It's sweet. The flavor is very interesting because I don't think it's real cheese, obviously not it's some kind of cheese powder, but the taste is very, very good. It's a very good cheese taste. To be honest, I wouldn't have expected the cheese to taste so good. Have you tried this before? No? It's good, right? I usually have no cheese. Like no cheese? Yeah, just the regular Just sweet one. corn. Yeah. yeah, this is also the first time I'm trying corn and cheese mix. Very good. Who's the boss? You or you? Yeah. Who gets the money? The she gets the money? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, keep the change. It's okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Salamatpo. Okay, oh, that was very delicious. Okay, so this is the entrance to the beach. Manila Baywalk Dolomite Beach. And yeah, it's not allowed to take uh, drinks or food inside. To make it clean, I guess. Yeah, yeah I think it's... That's, I mean, that's good, actually. Yeah, otherwise people would throw the, yeah. the rubbish inside, probably. Hello. We're from country. I'm from Germany. Germany, okay, thank you. Welcome to Germany. Oh, thank you, thank you. Welcome to Dolomite Beach. Yeah, welcome to Dolomite Beach. What do you think? A beach in Manila? That's something you don't expect here, right? Actually, yes. For like a city? Yeah. I mostly like visited beaches in Philippines is only in islands. And the islands, of course, yeah. Not in a city. Yeah, that's what the, the Philippines are famous for, beaches and beautiful islands. Mm. But uh, you also have a beach, which actually isn't that bad. I mean, it's not like quality sand, like on a beautiful island, like in Boracay or something somewhere else. Of course, the water is not uh, blue and not beautiful, but still, actually, I think this place is actually quite nice. It's actually, uh, I've seen a few like news about here before. It's kind of dirty here before. Oh yeah, I think I read that yeah. before. It used to be like a dirty place. Yeah. And then the government yeah. put some efforts to, yeah, to, clean, to it. clean it up. Make mm -hmm. it like a tourist spot. Yeah, yeah. Which is good. Actually, the, the beach is quite long, so maybe like 200 meters. You can actually walk here. It's actually quite nice. Then we have the guys. You're fighting with the sticks. This is Filipino martial arts. Filipino martial arts. Yeah. Oh, that looks very cool. Is it bamboo? Yeah, rattan. Oh, can I touch? Rattan. Oh, oh, very heavy. Oh, not heavy, like very uh, strong material. Right? Oh. Uwai? Yeah, Uwai. What is it? Bisaya. 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 How does he know that you are Bisaya? Mindanao. Ah, Mindanao. Ah, the video to Mindanao. Benduro. Oh. Funny that he could recognize that she is uh, not from here, you know. I'm always, I always wonder if uh, people from the Philippines can recognize where in the Philippines you are from. It's a class, your teacher. Martial arts here at the beach. That's very cool. Let's get a little martial arts performance here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that looks very cool. So it's the left, right, left, right, left, right combo. Well, it's a good exercise, you know? Yeah, right. Good for exercising. Oh, very good. So if you, if you follow the movements, it's like one pattern of movement that they are following, basically. So I guess if this would be a real fight, then of course you try to surprise your opponent more. You know what I mean? But here they are following a, a certain pattern. Because obviously this is just training. Oh, wow, that looks very cool. Oh, thank you very much. Salamat. That looks very cool. Oh, very nice. Nice demonstration. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> ah, Salamat. Are you from Germany? I'm from Germany. Oh, Germany. Okay. Germany, yeah, yeah. You're from Manila? Yeah. From Manila. How could he recognize that you are not from here? Um, maybe my accent. Maybe your accent? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they also know that I don't speak <laughs> Tagalog. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not that good with Tagalog, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not that good. Because you don't speak Tagalog and Minda now. No. Okay, Salamat, thank you very much. Okay, we're actually getting a little bit hungry now and you have an idea what we can try, right? Yes, we are, I'm, I am going to show you a Filipino restaurant here. They have like a few reviews, so probably that's a good one. Yeah, Yeah. and the, the name is? Jim Paris, Mami. Jim Paris, okay, I'll be careful, it's a lot of water here now. So, but yeah, the idea is uh, we're going to be back here later for uh, the sunset. Ah, this is only the entrance. Ah, exit over there. Okay, so uh, yeah. So the idea is we're going to get some food now and then we come back to see the sunset. Yes. Yeah. And I think we might be lucky actually. It's getting sunny now. But yeah, first let's get some food. What do you think? Should we get a horse to get to the restaurant? Let's try that one. Um, actually, it's the first time also, so let's try. <laughs> Yeah, actually, there are many uh, people here offering uh, horse rides, like with a carriage, and then you can uh, make a tour around the city. Let's see if we can just take one of these to get to a restaurant. Hello, can you take us to a restaurant? What restaurant? Uh, what was the name? Jim Paris and Mami. Ah, yeah, they're offering they're offering tours here. Intramuros or the old city service? Yeah, yeah. But we don't want to do a whole tour. Can we just um, to the restaurant? Papunta lang kami sa restaurant. Sige, ma'am. Oh, he's okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can see there are two horses parked right here. And I see there's a third one over there. And I saw a couple more around the streets here. So it seems to be a popular thing to do for tourists here. And yeah, they're offering the, the tours here usually. So it's 500. But for both of us or per person? No, sir. Together. Together. What's the name of the horse? Chocolate chip. Again? Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate? Yes, sir. Oh, the horse is called Chocolate. Hello? Oh, can't you even, can you even see? Okay. Seems to be a nice horse. I hope they are treating you well here. Okay. Okay. After you. Have a nice trip, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> sir, you're very handsome. Oh, thank Mom you. Mommy's lucky. You're oh. very handsome. <laughs> sir, very handsome, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Filipinos are always up for some jokes. Oh, I really like Filipino people. Hey, enjoy the tour, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You. Salamat. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Germany. Oh. Germany. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Sponsor from Philippines. 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 Okay, okay. Original base. Nice, okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, let's take a horse around Manila to the restaurant. Right. Oh, what's going on? Is there a traffic jam here already? Do you feel like a tourist here now? Yeah, yeah right. I think this is for tourists here. Oh, there's a second guy joining us. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm actually surprised that we are allowed to just take the horse on the main road. I mean, this is a big road with many cars on usually. It seems like it's no problem to uh, take the horse to the road. Oh, you want to turn here? Yes, sir. Ah. We can take a turn here. So we hello, hello. <laughs> oh, the Filipino people are always so friendly towards the camera. They really like the camera, right? Yeah. It happens a lot when I'm filming here. The people like start waving and hey, film me, film me. Hey. How many years is the horse? Uh, only three years old, sir. Three years only. Yes. Oh, that's very young. Male or male? Ah, uh, male. 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 Hey. Oh, 
But three years sounds very young for a horse. Yeah. I think I can get like up to 20 years old. How many years can a horse get? Oh, no, 25, so. 25? Yeah, I think. Oh, I like the vibes here. You know I'm very happy to be back in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just the vibes here in Manila, the vibes of the people. I really miss the Philippines. And yeah, she's a bit shy with filming here. Because you said earlier, because for you this is not that interesting as it is for me, right? Because yeah. this is. And also, most of the interactions go to the heart and not with the locals, right? I think if, if I would film in Germany, it wouldn't be as interesting for me as filming here yeah. as well. Because everything is, oh, this is Germany, this is so normal for me. And that's probably how you feel here. Oh, it's this restaurant, I think. Uh, this oh. oh, I see many people here. That's a good sign, usually. Oh, let's jump off. Oh, that was really interesting. Thank you very much. You, that was fun. So the horse did a good job here. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, oh, this the horse is pooping inside here. Ah, that's interesting. So actually, this is to prevent the horse from pooping on the road. Okay, 500. Thank you, okay, have a good day. Bye bye. All right, look at this. We have an interesting restaurant here right by the side of the road. Let's see what food they are selling here. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, oh, hello, hello, yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, what food is this? Mami, mami, mami. Mami? Noodles. It's a uh, beef noodles? Yes, beef noodles. Oh. Then the uh, Oh, that looks actually very good. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, hello, hello. What do you want? Maybe with noodles. With noodles? Yeah. Okay, can we get two with noodles? Oh, look how much beef they have here. Wow. That looks amazing. Oh, you're adding egg as well? Right, no rice. rice, no rice. Oh, Filipinos eat noodles and rice together? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. When I was a student, I used to work as a waiter in a hotel. Before? So I have experience to carry food, should be okay, don't be worried. Oh, he just explained you can refill the soup here. Only soup, only. Oh, that's only the soup. Only. But you know what's funny? The first meal I ever ate in the Philippines was pardes. I remember last year, on my first day, I found the pardes street food stall. And that was the first thing I ever ate in the Philippines. Um, this one's with cabbage. Yeah, so we have cabbage and, in. Yeah. And this one is... It's not It's not like this. It's, uh, but can you eat this? Yeah, you can eat, you but can eat it. it doesn't... It's like um, gum. Gum. Yeah, I think, uh, what's the English gum. word? Cartilage, I think. I think the English word is cartilage. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, the beef is very good. Oh, I like the, the taste of the beef. It's very soft and tender. I think they cook it for a long time. It's good, right? Yeah, the meat is so tender. Yeah, right? Oh, actually, I'm curious to try just a piece of the beef here now. Because this was delicious um, together with the broth. Oh, oh, the beef is amazing. Wow. Oh, I also really like the, the flavor of the broth. It's a very flavorful broth. So I was just asking her if she thinks it's a, it's a fair and good price. So we paid 100 per bowl. I think the amount of meat they put and then with the noodles and egg, I think yeah. it's a good price. So you would say that's and a also, fair local price? Yeah. I mean, it looks like a very local place here. Mm. And I see only locals eating here. For Manila, yeah. For Manila. But we have this kind of um, beef paris in Manila. That's only 50 pesos per bowl. 50 pesos in the province. Yeah. So here at Manila is double the price. But that's not much as meat like this one. Oh, and check this out. There's a little parade walking by. Oh, wow. Like a marching band here. Just walking through the streets. Wow, that's the, the nice vibes here in Manila, or in the Philippines in general. It's always so lively here. I really like the atmosphere. You choose a good place. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Thank you very much, it was very delicious. Very nice. Master up. Master up. All right, looks like we are lucky today. There is a beautiful sunset. Earlier today I would not have thought that because it was very cloudy and rainy. What do you think of the sunset here in Manila? It's nice. With the boats. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's looks good. quite picturesque here. Yeah. And the flashing water. Mm -hmm. It's, it's calm water, so it yeah, looks right. even better. Calm water here, looks very peaceful. The sunset looks amazing. And now also the beach gets busier. Many people come to have a look at the sunset here. 
I know that many, especially many foreigners, many tourists who come to the Philippines skipping Manila and go straight to some of the islands. But I actually think if you skip Manila, you actually miss out a little bit. I think uh, Manila is definitely worth to spend a few days in, especially if it's your first time in the Philippines. The difference between Asian people and European people, we were just joking about it. She can squat here, no problem. Yes, like for probably more minutes or yeah, an hour. Yeah. You're squatting already for five minutes or so? Yeah. And for me, squatting gets uncomfortable after like a minute. So yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Anya, thank you very much for taking me to the beach today. You're welcome. Okay, and you are probably going to see more of her in around two weeks because I'm actually going to visit your province in Mindanao. I'm excited to show you around in Mindanao. I'm also very excited to visit the province and see the province life in Mindanao. Yeah. And if you haven't seen my previous video, my first day back in the Philippines in Manila, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys. <laughs>